I had a client today ask me what the quickest way to enter a customer payment into the system is. And historically, I would say the bank deposit window or a cash receipt journal. However, I recently learned about the register customer payments functionality within Business Central. So I'm going to show you that functionality. I'm going to come up to the global search and I'm going to type in register customer payment. And I'm going to bookmark that because it's something that I'm going to be using more frequently in the future. Now, if this is the first time that you've opened it, you are going to get welcomed with a payment registration setup window. This is where you're going to put in your journal template, journal batch, and your balancing accounts. Now, it is possibly going to default with some information out of box depending on how you were implemented. So just make sure to update it if needed. I am going to keep this automatically filled date in here as well, just so that that helps me streamline the process. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. So we have a couple scenarios here where my client gets payments via a check and then also payments via ACH or even um, wire. So we're going to look at a couple different scenarios here. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to sort the name via ascending so that everything is in order for me. Now, let's say, for example, that Trey Research sent me a check and that check was for every single one of these invoices. OK, so what I can do is I can come in here and I can check every single one of these saying all of these invoices are being paid via check number one, two, three, four, five. OK, so this external document number over here is the payment reference number for example, a check number, okay? Now, if I'm just entering that one check, uh, then what I can do is I can come up to post payments as a lump payment. What this is going to do, let's just preview it. What this is going to do is it gonna, it's going to lump everything in as $1 amount. So because it's a check and you're depositing, depositing that to your bank account, when you go to do your bank reconciliation, you want that to show up as a lump sum um, on the bank account. So that's what this is doing, that post is lump. So let's go ahead and post that. Again, it's looking at the setup on how to post that. Now we are gonna have to resort that after it refreshes, but now the example is some of these payments are made via ACH. So maybe they're kind of one-offs, right? So like each one of these vendors here made a payment. Um, now we do have School of Fine Art in this example, getting, um, getting a payment for two different invoices. If these need to be lumped together, then we're gonna want to make sure that we do those on a separate one and that we, that, um, whoops, that we post as a lump payment in that scenario. Um, so we're just gonna take that out for this example, but we'll say, okay, each one of these vendors uh, paid an ACH payment to us. Now, again, we can put the payment number over here as well. Maybe we want it to have like ACH payment or wire or something, right? This is not required. The external document number is just a nice to have. Um, so in this scenario, if we go ahead and post it, it is going to create four different, um, four different bank transactions. Okay. So that's what these are. So, um, we have a bank transaction happening for each one, which is exactly what we want to see when we're doing our bank reconciliation, because each of these payments are hitting the bank account separately. So we can see that that's how that's going to work. So let's go ahead and post that as well. And that's really the functionality here. I mean, you can see this is pretty, pretty quick to entering customer payments. Now, again, let's say that School of Fine Art sent us a whole, uh, you know, a whole payment for all of these. And maybe we want to do that as a lump payment. Again, the lump payment is just going to put everything together and sum it up. And that's really all that's doing. Or if we want to just post it as a regular payment here in this scenario, then we're going to see in the bank um, that we have several 
several transactions, each one of those are going to be hitting the bank account. So depending on how it hits your bank account is really how you're going to be processing these. Um, but hopefully this was helpful. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section or feel free to reach out to me on LinkedIn. And if you found the video helpful, make sure to like and then subscribe to the channel because we're going to be posting a lot more of these types of videos with information about transacting in Business Central. So thank you.